Hello, dear friends! As you already know from the preview and the title, I fell in love with this little cute character just like all others on the internet. In this video I'm gonna show you how I painted this portrait and announce the Instagram giveaway, so stay with me if you want to know how to thin this cute painting. Oh, and if you are not subscribed yet, subscribe and click the bell button to be sure you will not miss my next videos. Ok, let's see how I created this painting. For this work I chose thick cardboard and covered it with a base acrylic coat, because it will be insane to paint right on the cardboard, trust me I tried it once. And to be sure I will cover the surface with two layers and let them dry. While it drying I need to make a sketch. I just took a piece of paper and pencil and googled baby Yoda screenshots. I didn't pick specific screenshot and copy it, just tried to see a whole picture to understand the anatomy of this alien, colors, little details and other important things. So I sketched something from my head based on what I see. Honestly, I think uh, it is my first fan art in last, I don't know, 10 years? So this baby Yoda, as everyone calls him, impressed me this much. Now I need to make washing with brown paint to create some background I can start with. I decided to make two layers and not sure it was the best decision. On one hand it gave a nice pigmented background to start, but on the other it was a bit hard to trace my sketch on it because it's so dark. Let me show how I did it. You may use copy paper, but at that moment I didn't have it, so I used an old trick. Just cover the back of my sketch with a pencil, place on the cardboard and trace it. The lines are slightly visible because uh, the background is so dark, but I can work with it anyway. My next step is to start painting and show all the important details of the alien. I didn't try to make it too detailed and neat, I just needed uh, something to start with, so I could cover the traced lines with paint and don't worry about them anymore. I marked all light and dark places, the cloth folds and hands. Here is my palette, by the way. I put the paints on a piece of baking paper and under it I place wet paper towels. It helps your acrylic paints dry not so fast. And right in this moment I spilled a full jar of water on my surge protector. Gladly all my lamps survived, but it was too much. And I decided to buy this uh, cup. If you fill it up to this level. It will not uh, spill. <laughs> After it, I needed to do something with the background. I didn't have a specific idea for it, just wanted to cover it with splashes, drops, strokes and create kind of visual noise that will give a viewer's imagination a point to start with. I really like this feeling when you look at the painting and see not just a full rendered image, but many many little clues for your brain and you not just consume visual content, but became co-creator of the art by adding details, meaning, scenes with your imagination. I really trying to create this feeling in my works, I can say it's my goal on the artist path now. When I have done with the background, I can finally start to add details to baby Yoda's face. That was a challenge for me to catch his cute and weird features and try to show how adorable he is. So I spent a lot of time trying to do it, fixing, adding details, repainting something. I decided to add some plants uh, to the background, to make it look a bit mystery. Maybe there are not plants uh, on a planet that they will visit with the Mandalorian in the future, or something from his past. 
I love this color palette so much. Blue, teal, mint, lilac. Sadly, my camera catches purple tones so badly and I can't really show how it looked like in the process. Also, I added more splashes, like pollen from these alien flowers. I made a few layers with different colors to make it various. And after it, I added final touches like fibers of cloth. And of course, teeny hairs on his head and ears that make him so cute. I covered it with varnish and waited until it dry. After drying, I added some tiny details, my sign and cover with varnish again. Ok, that's it. The baby Yola painting is finished. I really love how it looks like when you place it in the dark corner. He looks so real. Well, I really want this baby Yoda find a good home. So I made an Instagram giveaway. You may win this original painting or art prints of it. All what you need to do – first, follow me on Instagram, second, share the giveaway post in your stories, and I will send you a giveaway number. Because I'm not gonna sell these prints, and uh, this giveaway is the only chance to get one, I will not limit the number of prints. For every 50 participants, I will add one print. So if you will have 100 participants, it will be two prints. For 200, it will be four prints, etc. The shipping will be free for you. And don't forget, your account should be real, not created specially for giveaways. If you don't have one, you may ask your friends to take part. I will announce the result in one week. The link is in the description under this video. Share this video if you like it, give me a thumbs up for the baby Yoda's portrait and be sure you are subscribed to not miss the next video. Thank you so much for watching, see you in the next videos!